Hello, my friends. It's Nancy Vastine, and I have a couple projects that I'm going to be doing, and so I'm going to be stamping on some tissue paper because I can't draw like Eileen McInnes does. And this tissue paper is artist-grade tissue paper from Dick Blick. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to stamp, and I thought I'd bring you along. And we could have some fun doing some stamping. And then uh, my project will probably be after I get this stamping all done. So I have some butterflies here. And I know I probably want a big butterfly. And I'm going to stamp it on. And I'm going to use a uh, Versamark ink. This is my favorite ink. I do like stays on too, but it takes so long to dry. Okay. And I have a foam pad underneath my tissue paper so I'll get a pretty good image. Press it hard, press it hard. Oh, that's beautiful. All right. Now, done with that one. This one I want, this one is a uh, Diane Wakely, Dina Wakely, and I want the B, the B, the B, B, wish I had a smaller stamping block, I know I do somewhere, but where, I don't know, so we'll just go with this one. Anyway, I'm doing this just to see how it's going to work and react to the project that I'm going to be doing. i got to plant some flowers and get going and get my fairy house in the flowers. Now that one moved, and I don't like that one as well. So I'm going to stamp it again and try not to slide it. Here we go. Patty Tolly Parrish uses this artist grade tissue paper and it's moved again. Ugh. Maybe I'm going to have to stand up and that's why I wanted the smaller block. It works better on the smaller block, but I'll use this heavier one and maybe it'll stamp better. I don't know. I'm not doing so good. First one came out really good. I just don't know about this bee. Okay, I'm going to stand up and push on it. Push real hard. There, that one's better. I'm gonna get some a baby wipe. Art wipes, as APG says, they are art wipes. They're not baby wipes, they're art wipes. I stole her saying. Just clean this off a little bit. I usually don't clean my stamps off. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Don't matter to me. Okay. And that's the only one I want off of that one. I'm going to put 
that away. Move that stamping block. Guys, don't let me forget where that stamping block was. Please don't let me forget. Now this one, I just want the mushrooms. And I want a few of these, so I probably should have stamped that butterfly another couple of times. I forgot that I have a few of these that I need to make. Ooh. Okay. I didn't get my fairy stamps out. There, that one's good. I'm going to turn my paper back around. And I'm going to stamp it again. So anyway, I hope you guys are going to watch the... I hope you guys don't get too bored with the parts on my fairy house that I made, but it is a uh, progressive uh, parts video. So, in you know, those are long videos, and I didn't speed through anything. I cut off some stuff that when I was doing it and then came back and did it, you know. So, I hope you enjoy them. I'm so proud of that fairy house. Those are coming out great. Alright, that's probably all I need of those. If I need more, I'll stamp more. I can always stamp more. I have a whole ream of this paper and I cut it in half so it's twice as big and I bought a whole ream of it from Dick Flick. Yeah, I did. Yes, I did. I have plenty of paper. I'm going to stamp my favorite stamp here. My, I, I think it's a dandelion. It says it's a dandelion, but I think it's a, it looks like a <coughs> Queen Anne's Lace. I have some of those seeds. I need to plant them. Yep, I do. I need to get a big pot and plant them in a big pot. You won't believe the big pot I got. Um, I went to this nursery that has just opened up in my neighborhood. It's just a couple blocks away from me. A flower nursery. Ooh, that came out pretty. I'm going to do it again. And I went there the other day to buy some herbs and some plants and stuff. And I bought a couple of... I saw he had these tomatoes in this great big pot and I out he said they were cherry tomatoes and I said no I don't want those I said but do you have any more of those great big pots and he said well I don't have any more of those but let me go in the back here and see what I've got and mind you these people also do a landscaping and mow lawn business also so they really don't take care of their flowers very well, and the herbs looked pretty sick. But the ones I got were okay. So anyway, he goes in the back, and he comes back out, and he says, Well, this do, I'm not kidding you. It's this great big, huge, black pot. I mean, it's, oh man, it's going to take a whole bag of dirt to plant and I have three different kinds of tomato plants I'm going to plant in that 
And then stupid me, I bought a cucumber plant and thought, what am I going to put this in? Because they're going to vine all over the place. And I don't have a garden space. I have to do it in pots. So, I'm not sure what I... I'm standing up, pressing on that. I'm not sure. I found some... I found a big couple of big pots out in the shed and they're plastic and they're the terracotta looking things and I think that'll be good enough to plant the cucumbers in and I'll just let them vine wherever they want to vine I guess um, I should have bought another trellis but I went back to the dollar store and they didn't have any more of those trellises so I'm going to have to go to a regular store and buy one. Alright, I think that's all I want of those. Now these are um, indigo blue stamps and it's called this is what it looks like and it's called Stylus Flower Code S S F L I think Anyway, that's what these are. If anybody's interested in buying them. Now, I'm going to go to my quirky birds from, Ham from Hampton Arts. No. These are from Stampendous. These are Tim Holtz. My quirky birds, see? I'm going to stamp these guys. That's why I need my smaller block. It's alright. He doesn't want to stick on there. Let's see if I can stick him on with a little bit of water air off my wet wipe. My artist wipe. I know I want these birds on there. So I'm going to stamp him probably two or three times. Maybe just once. Because there's so many of them. That came out cool. Okay. have this one, the quirky bird. I hope he comes out as good. Is, I think he's my favorite one. I don't know. They're all my favorites. I like them all. I want to get the miniature set. And they have all the clothes and stuff that go on them. The hats and stuff. But I have so many. I don't need them. I do have the die cut that goes with these also. Well, he moved, but that's okay. He's all right. I knew I moved him, but I'm not going to sweat over it. Okay. This one probably moved too because I rocked it. Nope. It came out okay. I keep having to stand up and push on these because it's getting farther and farther away from me, this paper. Here's a little round fat one. He ate too many of my seeds. He ate too many of my sunflower seeds and my safflower seeds. And he got fat. He got fat like me. 
because I classify myself as fat. Fat, fat, fat. Okay. Because I have put on so much weight that I am so disgusted with myself. Ugh, I just hate myself. I got to get it off. It's just not good for me. I eat too much crap. Okay, birdie. We're going to put you right there. All right. Okay, we're done with those. I don't want to stick on my thing much anymore. Now I have the regular birds, which I'm going maybe use, I don't know. But I'm going to stamp them out anyway, just because I need to have some regular birds. I'm pushing, I'm pushing, I'm pushing, I'm pushing. Cool. Here's another one. And if anybody would like to um, swap with me on some stamped tissue paper, just let me know down in the comments and maybe we can swap. I'll send mine out and you send yours out and take a um, take a picture of your envelope that you're mailing and put it in Facebook and I'll do the same and maybe you can get some um, stamps that you don't have this is a good way to share I don't think we're supposed to but who cares? It's just going to be for personal use anyway. Remember when we used to tape video, um, cassette tapes and share them and CDs and download them and share them? Yeah, I don't know what the difference is with stamps because they all have a copyright on them. So if anybody wants to share, let me know. If you want to swap, tell me what you want. Because I have a lot of different stamps. If you see something here on this one that you'd like, I would certainly love to share with you. All right, I'm going to do a house now because I like my little house. And um, it won't, it got bent. I hope it's going to work. I'm going to wet it down a little bit, see if it'll stick on there. It got put away when it, and it curled up. Oh, that's not going to work. Hmm. Let me stick a little bit, a drop of glue on there. just to get it to stick down. It'll come off my block. I don't worry about it. I'll scrape it off. That worked. I haven't 
I used yet are my houses from Lavinia Stamps. I need to get those out because I think I want some of those with the mushrooms and the fairies. So, yeah. I'm going to stand up. Can you see? And push real hard. Oh, I love it. I love it. But I'm not going to do another one of it. I'm just going to wipe that glue off. Wipe it off my stamping block. See how that worked? It just does sometimes. You just have to coax it. So here is a hummingbird. And I want that. I want everything, but I don't think I'm going to have an, enough of the project to put the, all these on. But we will see. If not, they'll be here. And that one doesn't want to stick down either. Yeah, I'm going to try and get it on there before it falls off. I don't, I think it moved. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Alright guys, I'm going to pause you for a minute and I'll be back when I find my fairy stamps and my houses. Okay, I'm back. And I'm not going to stamp all my fairy stamps because they're silhouettes. And I don't know if they're going to show up. I'm going to bring you in a little closer. With this setup I have on my, my laptop, I can't see how close you are. So I'm going to bring you in a little closer. But anyway, I'm just going to stamp a few of these. Um... This one has never been stamped before, so hopefully she'll come out okay. And I got a new sheet of paper because that other one was full. And this is what the other half I cut off of that other piece. Hopefully, I won't have to stamp her a hundred times to get her good. I got some on the block that I don't want on there. Okay, here goes nothing. Or something. I'm going to stand up again and push real hard. Straight up. Oh, she stamped good. She'll be good. That'll be a good one. So, oh, they really stick. These are the silicone. And they stink so bad, let me tell you. They stink really bad. And here's another one that I'm going to stamp. I'm going to stamp her maybe a couple of times. She's got the dandelions or whatever. And I might use her a few times. I don't know. If I need her again, I can always stamp another one, like I said. Juice her up real good. Patty Tolly Parrish uses this artist grade tissue paper on her jelly plate. Now the deli paper that I have is the Dixie. I'll show it to you. 
Let me get her stamped and then I'll grab it and show it to y'all. And what I sent... Oh yeah, she stamped good. What I sent um, Pink Poodle Crafter was this jelly paper that I'm going to show you. And it's almost as thin as this tissue paper. I'm going to stand up to stamp her again. See if I can get a harder impression. Impression. Now I'm standing right over the camera, so I probably am really loud. I'm right in the speakers. Yeah, that one's better. Okay, let's clean her off. Now I do clean these ones off because they were kind of expensive and I want to keep them. Keep them okay. I mean, I guess my other ones are expensive too, but I used them so much that I'm okay with I'm not cleaning them every time. her back down on her paper. Okay, let me show you the deli paper. It's called All Purpose Food Wrap Dixie. And it comes in this box. It's 12 by 12. There's a thousand sheets. And I buy it online from Sam's Club. And see, it's really thin. See that? And that's what I sent Pink Poodle Craft Stacy. Sent her a bunch of this. Because I think I had enough to share. Because I have two boxes of it. So I have 2,000 sheets of this. Like I'm going to use those in my lifetime. But you never know. You never know. I might need them for something else besides paint. Well, that's hard to get back in that box. So, that's what it is. And this is the uh, other one that I have. I'm getting it, guys. I'm getting it. And this is quick wrap sandwich wrap. And it's not as thin as the other one. This one's thicker. But it works just the same. And I have a thousand sheets of this, too. I think I have two boxes of it. Wish I could send somebody a whole box. I couldn't afford the postage. Because it's heavy. See, it's not as thin. I mean, it's thin, but it's not as thin as the other one. So anyway, those are the two kinds that I get. They do not have them at the Sam store. You have to buy them online. This one and the this is quick wrap. And I wanted the ones that were not folded. I've had the ones that are folded and I hate them. And this one's the Dixie wrap. Okay. They're under my table, so. That's why I sound like I'm grunting. It's because I'm bending over and I'm so fat. <sighs> anyway, so much for that. Here are my houses. Oh, here's one more fairy I need to do. And she's got, I don't know what she, what flowers, what weed or what flowers she has. But it's cool. And I want to use that one. And I think, but see, I have, when you buy online from Sam's, I don't think you have to be a member. But to, I use my mother-in-law's membership number. 
and I just put it in there and and it goes by faster quicker than having to go through all the rigmarole of having to buy it as a guest and yada yada. I'm standing up right into the speakers of the camera. There she is. I might stamp her again. She's sitting on stamps. She's flittering and floating around. Okay. There you go. How cool is that? Now we're going to do the houses. And these houses are so cool. I thought I had three of the big ones, but I guess I don't. I looked. I guess my my uh, credit card was getting way up there and I didn't want to buy any more. Yeah. Because, oh my gosh, we got a bill today. Oh. From Wes's um, Oncology for seven thousand dollars yeah like they want me to pay that <laughs> i'll just pull it right out of my pocketbook yeah i have that kind of money in my bank just go pull it out pay it off oh my gosh i don't know how they think we can pay these bills i can't even pay on it a little at a time that would take me a hundred years to pay that off i don't know what they expect out of you you know, you have terminal cancer and stage four, and you know you have to do it. He's almost to the point where he's not going to take chemo anymore, though. If the cancer hasn't spread or grown any, he's not going to take chemo anymore. But he's addicted to the pain pills. Yeah. So, I don't know what we're going to do about that. He still has some pain where the cancer is, so I'm sure they'll still give him the pain medicine. I hope this, I have never used this one before, so I hope it turns out cute. I hope it stamps good. Because I certainly want to use it. Okay, pushing down. Oh, it's stamped wonderful. I'm going to stamp it again. These are wonderful, stinky stamps. Why, yes they are. Stinky, stinky, stinky. They smell like a chemical. Okay, here we go. And I keep them in a plastic container. A flat plastic container. When you open that up, whew, it stinks bad. I wonder how long they're going to smell like that. Probably as long as I keep them contained in that thing, huh? But I don't know where they I don't want them to get lost. And they could and easily get lost in my craft room. Things just disappear. I don't know where they go. They just, you know, and I don't have a brain enough to remember where I put things. And, you know, yada yada. Okay, there's that one. And then we have this one. This one's a cute one, too. And they are Palmer stamps. That's why they stink.
so they can't be in the sunlight and I have spectrum sun lamps down here so they have to be put away so or they will get ruined it says yeah I just dropped my ink pad right on that block there But my art wipe will get it off. Alright, let's see if we can stamp this one good. Okay, here we go. Uh, uh, uh. Pushing, pushing, pushing. Yes, I'm going to stamp it again. I gotta find some flower stamps. Either that or try to draw them. I'm gonna see if I can find some flower ones. I think I have a few. Some that I can paint. Okay, there we go. Alright guys, I'm going to go and find some flower stamps and I will be right back. Bunch of stamps. Yeah, I found a bunch of flower stamps and I found a moth. I think that's a moth. Two, fairy, two more fairy stamps and an owl and all these flower stamps and some leaves and some more flower stamps and a house from Joggles. So, we are going to stamp away. Yes, we are. We're going to put this um, mop on here. I think it's a moth. This is from uh, Designs by Wren. I don't know if I'm going to use all of these. But at least I'll be on this paper if I don't use them all. I'm just having fun stamping today and visiting with my friends out in Cyberland. And yeah, I'm going to stamp that one again. It's better than being here and talking and people think you're talking to yourself when you're not you're talking to the whole world whoever wants to listen I'm gonna squeeze I don't know why I want to squeeze it on here I've got plenty of this paper I don't have to be frugal There, that one came out a little better. Wipe him off. Put him back in the basket. Now, let's go and do these fairies. Yep, I want to do these fairies. I think these are by designs by Ren also. And I had to mount them on that mounting stuff. Because I always buy them unmounted. They're cheaper that way. I don't know if they really are cheaper that way. The stamps are cheaper, but then you gotta buy the mounting stuff. And that stuff can get expensive. I'm gonna turn this around because it's in my lap now and oh and I'm having to push my chair clear far back and so I'm just going to do it this way and stamp her on and push real hard oh yeah she's a flying fairy she has, um, 
leaf wings. <laughs> they look like leaves. She'll be fun to paint. Might have to do her with markers. She's so small. And this one's small also. Oh, I dropped it. I'm going to stand up to push her in there really hard. See, I dropped it. It's okay. She came out all right. Now, let's do our joggles. That one we need to do on this. This long one. I like this little house. But this stamp is really old and it's not going to stay stuck on there. Now push it. Push it real hard on there. Okay. Oh, and I found some miniature houses. I don't know if you can see them. The very little, very miniature ones. I'll show you. That's okay. It came out double. See, I found the miniature ones. I stamped them twice, each one. I'm going to stamp this one twice because it's got a shadow in it. It moved. Let's see if I can do this again with that rock in it. That's going to make the arthritis in my thumb hurt. I can tell. I'm going to have to find my gloves. I have gloves like Stacy's, and they really do help when my thumbs and this finger. Do you see this finger? Do you see this finger? It had to happen in this finger. This knuckle gets really inflamed, and sometimes I can hardly bend it. It hurts so bad. And it was starting to hurt the other night, and it's getting real fat again. So I need to really find my gloves and start wearing them for a little while till that eases up. All right, I found my one of my little blocks. One of my itty bitty ones. They will work for the flowers that I have. I'm going to put my stamps over here. They're easier for me to get to. And my little owl. Got to make my little owl on there. Okay, I'm going to do some of these stamps from Joggles. These little flower ones. None of them have stems. I'm going to have to draw a stem, I guess. I love these little flowers. I have different sizes of Joggles flower stamps. I'm going to put that one over there because we might use it again. Am I getting out of a camera shot? I think not. I 
That one's cute. I wish I could draw. I just can't draw. I guess I need to practice. Practice drawing. I mean, how hard can that be? It's probably not hard at all for some people. And then there's us who are draw illiterate. <laughs> that didn't want to stick on there at all. Let's see if it'll stick on now. Sometimes if you just wipe the back off with some uh, baby wipes, they'll stick on the block for you. These are really old, old stamps, but I love them. Yeah. It just comes right off. Now, I don't know where these stamps came from. Oh, I see I have another fairy. No, I think I already used her right there. I think I didn't put her away. That's okay. I don't know where these stamps came from. I have no clue. Now I have two whole sheets, and I probably have way too much for my projects, but I'll have them when I need them to do art journaling. I haven't done a journal art journaling in so long. I really need to do some of that. Get back into it. Maybe that's where I could practice drawing in my own art journal where nobody could see it, except for you guys. Because I might do it on film, on a video. That's a cool stamp. I like that one. These are going to be easy to paint. I'm going to do that one again. I like it. I'm going to have to get me another sheet of paper. I have some already cut over here. I'm going to keep that out just in case I need it again. And then these flowers, I have no clue. I think these are designs by Wren. I think that's who these came from. Am I out of camera shot? I feel like I'm sitting clear back in the back wall. I'm going to stamp that one again. I like that one too. Okay. I know I got some hibiscus from designs by Wren, but that might be a little bit too big for that stamping block. We'll try it. So I think these are some other stamps by her also. Like that one, but it moved. It's alright. It'll dissolve. I'm not sure if I'll have enough space right there. And I'm going to try to squeeze. Uh, I'm not going to try. I'm going to put it over here. I'm not going to mess with it. I've got littler stuff, maybe, that can go there. 
And I think these leaves that I'm going to do are come from um, Gina Aaron's stamps. They might be too big for my flowers, though. But they're pretty. They are very pretty. I'm probably off the camera shot. I'm to the end of my paper. I have another one. I think it might be same size and might be even smaller. I don't know. I got two. It's beautiful. It's just a different pattern. There. Now, I'm going to see if I can put this last flower right there. Maybe I won't take a chance. And I can't get that owl on there. So, I'll get another piece of paper. Because I have a ton of it, you know. I just don't have one sheet. I have a thousand pieces. I have a whole ream. How much is in a ream? I got paper falling all over me. Ah! Avalanche! <laughs> Help! Help me, Avalanche! Okay, I'm going to put this on the bigger block. Gotta stamp it right there. I like that one. Are these stamens? Is that what those are? Somebody tell me in the comments, please, if those are stamens. I haven't stamped this one three times. just have the owl to do and he is from a set of birds from Tim Holtz I think or do you know I'm not sure let me see I can find them they're from Dina Dina Wakely and there's three birds on there I think that's a woodpecker I don't know Maybe it's a cardinal, and the owl, and then the two lovebirds. Scribbly birds on branches. They're from Ranger. But I just want the owl, because, you know, I love owls. must stand up because I think it moved. I do believe it did. Yep, it moved. But I was going to stamp it twice anyway. Alright, 
guys, and I think I'm done. I'm finished with stamping today. So if you guys see any of these stamps that I've stamped, let me know if you want to uh, swap. I can swap you out some of these and uh, maybe a few other ones that would be a surprise to you. If you want to swap, let me know in the comments below or private message me. Or Sometimes I don't know how to get those private messages and I miss a lot of them. But I'm learning. I'm learning how to do it now. So I'm finished stamping. I'm going to put all these away. And then I'm going to quit for tonight. And I'll be back tomorrow with another project. Okay? Talk to you later. Bye-bye.